For you. today's contest, <laughs> there's I love music. the music. I'm going to give you some movie quotes. Oh, Jesus. Your least favorite one. <laughs> you name the actor or actress who said it. Or the movie. Just give us something. <laughs> Nobody puts baby in a corner. <laughs> Nobody puts baby in a and corner. And then lift into the air. Nobody puts That's a big baby hit. in a corner. That's a big hit. White men can't jump. Holy <laughs> schnutzel. Wow. <laughs> Is that Don't... real? Welcome back to the Lake Show Podcast presented by Jack in the Box. If you're enjoying the show, you can check out more original podcasts from our Spectrum News journalists on the Spectrum News app. Just head to the podcast section to listen to the latest episodes. You can download the Spectrum News app on the App Store or Google Play. What are you doing over there? Getting ready for my bricks. Time for a round of Bucket or Brick <laughs> presented by Jack in the Box. Crazy lady. Are you guys ready? Did you just call me crazy lady? <laughs> are you a lunatic? Um, time for a round of Bucket or Brick. Presented by Jack in the Box. I just said it. ESPN has the Lakers predicted to finish 11th in the West with a record of 44 and 38. Bucket or brick, the Lakers are being overlooked. Bucket. Embarrassing. Disrespectful. Said it with Jovan the other day. Come on, man. Like, 11th? 11th? I think that 6 through 11 obviously could be shuffled anyway, but I think the Lakers are better than that. Go ahead, Brez. Yeah, I agree. Um, I haven't picked them fifth the other day. That might have been a little optimistic, but uh, look, the top four is who it is. You got Minnesota, you got, uh, OKC, you got you got uh, Denver, you got Dallas. Phoenix could finish fifth. My, the Lakers, I think, will be five or six or seven. Eleven? No, I, I don't. That's 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 crazy. I think Brad's is right. Six, yeah. seven, five, I six, seven. I just read things are getting a little rocky in Denver. Ooh, Ooh. good play on Rocket Mountain, huh? Should the Lakers <laughs> shake up <laughs> the starting rattle. lineup next season or keep D'Lo, Reeves, Rui, LeBron, and AD? What was it? Should the Lakers shake up the starting lineup next season or Ugh. keep D'Lo, Reeves, Rui, LeBron, and AD? I, I think Buck you keep break. it. I mean, if you're going to lead the league in continuity, why not try to flaunt it? Why not try to see how those guys look? I mean, I'm not sure what the sub would be. Uh, Gabe Vincent maybe joining the starting lineup. Maybe Christy. Um, yeah, keep it. Keep, that, that's their strength right now. That, yeah. That's since I'm they didn't sign anybody. Keep it. It was proven to be a great starting lineup last year. The only... Caveat to that is a healthy Jared Vanderbilt you can sometimes spot or spot start or whatever, depending on how that works, those two guys. But everything else is. Keep it. Yep. Dwight Howard. Shout out to him. He's on Dancing with the Stars. Yo, yikes. <laughs> Recently said the Lakers 2020 title team had the chance to win more titles. Bucket or brick. Lakers 2020, 20, wow, 2020 title squad was split up too soon. <sighs> I'm, I'm, I'm going to bucket this with... But, but I need to explain it because the moves that were made by Rob and the Lakers right after that were, were actually very good. I thought they didn't bring back the whole team, but they brought back a lot of the team and added Dennis and a couple guys. So I, I was okay with the pivot, I, but, but there were more titles in that group. I truly <laughs> feel like Kuz, Caruso, KCP, Dwight, that whole group. I, I, I wish they would have had another chance at it. And, and I think, you know, those guys all, got traded and let go after that tough loss to Phoenix when mm -hmm. AD got hurt. And they were 21-6 to start that year off. And LeBron and AD go down, and then AD goes down in that series. And, you know, who knows what would happen in that series. But, uh, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm with Dwight. It would have been cool to see it. But, you know, that's, that's, that's the nature of the, the business. A report just came out, too, that Coos had felt that Rob panicked a little bit too soon as well. Hmm. He said, "You know, it happens. It is what it is." Let's, let's not put it all on Rob. There were a couple of players that, uh, you know, I mean, didn't, didn't. I mean, the, the guys have all said, yeah. right? Like, if you listen to the reports, like, you know, players, Rob. I think everybody wanted that third star. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, um, very short off season too. I'll bucket it. Yeah, it's so easy in hindsight to say, well, you know, they shouldn't have done this or that, but maybe one extra year with that core group, yeah, maybe. Just, um, yeah, it would have been nice. Yeah. I don't blame one person, though. Like, that's, of course that's the thing. Like, you can't say Rob Panner. It's, no. it's, it's, it, I think it's a collective. It's, it's in hindsight, it's 2020. But yeah, I, I would have liked to have seen it. Yeah. Maybe some, some I'm players. I'm definitely not got, calling it a panic. But. Yeah. Some players got a little touchy about playing yeah. time and money, which happens. So it's too bad that maybe some of them wanted that, yep. too. But whatever. Brez, your boy Pat Bev <laughs> recently said he finally knows how <laughs> LeBron James feels because opposing players and coaches keep asking him for pictures after games. Bucket of brick, Pat what? Bev is the LeBron of basketball in Israel where he is currently playing. <laughs> sure. Uh, yeah, Pat Bev, my guy. 
I'll not forget. Uh, <laughs> my guy. Can you not forget, uh, Ali, when uh, he uh, had his uh, press conference when he was introduced a couple years ago, and I got five minutes off to the side with him, and I asked the same question I've asked dozens of new Lakers, whether they're drafted or whether they're v- brought over in trade or signed as free agent. I said, hey, man, you excited to play with LeBron and AD? And Pat Bev looked me in the eye and he said, you mean, are they excited to play with me? Because I was in the playoffs this, this last year, not them. And I started laughing, but Pat Bev was not laughing, not <laughs> laughing. I remember that. So I'm, I'm just going to, whatever Pat Bev wants uh, to do, he should do it. If I'm going to say this, Press. He's never going to know what it's really like to be LeBron James. <laughs> right. But I'm going to bucket it also because in this specific instance that it he's real. using, he's saying, I'm getting, they're asking me for pictures. Right like LeBron in the NBA, so I get a sense of what it's like. I'll, I'll go with it on this one. Bucket or... <laughs> Elite! Bucket or brick, rookie <laughs> Dalton Connect's shooting ability will help him crack the rotation next season. I'm going to bucket this because like I want it to. The bucket. Yeah. I'm going to bucket it because I want it to. <laughs> yeah. Yep. Brez, you uh, bucket, bucket too. I don't have any uh, basketballs left. Yeah, that's a bucket. That's so, an absolute bucket. You thought we were done. No, I didn't. I knew. <laughs> we're not done. Um, My stomach is spitting. I'm taking over. When <laughs> Allie joined uh, this network uh, six years ago, wow. we were all astonished at the lack of pop culture knowledge. It's been a fun thing for you and for all of us. And I'll say this. You have been an unbelievable sport about it, and we have worked on it, and you have gotten better. And uh, But it's still really funny. <laughs> Unfortunately, last year we had to stop doing the game to do technical uh, due to technical reasons, but that has led us to the Allie game. That we're going to do on the Lake Show podcast. Oh, debut. for today's contest. <laughs> there, I love the music. music. I'm going to give you some movie quotes. Oh Jesus! Your least favorite one. <laughs> you name the actor or actress who said it, or the movie. Just give us something. <laughs> Nobody puts baby in a corner. <laughs> Nobody puts baby in a and corner. And then lift into the air. Nobody puts That's baby in a corner. That's a big hit. White men can't jump. Holy <laughs> schnutzel! Wow. Is that Dirt. real? No, Dirty oh. Dancing. Damn it. Patrick I've never Swayze. seen it. Never seen it. <laughs> Lifted up, I believe, Jennifer Grey. Is that I think name? you're right. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> okay, how's this one? <laughs> Say hello to my little friend. Oh, no chance. <laughs> you cockroach. <laughs> Say hello to my little friend. I need, a, I need clues. All, all these movies were before you were born. Spic- picture a big, big table full of um stuff. Powder. Powder, white powder. <laughs> oh, Jesus. And then picture... Just a lot of weapons around. And then picture a guy with a sweaty face and picture him saying, say hello to my little friend. And then, it might have been Al Pacino. It might not have been. Al Pacino. Al Pacino. What movie? Scarface. Scar- <laughs> yeah, you can always oh, go. Oh, I can do- okay, 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 got it, got it. Yeah. No, okay. okay. Oh, I'm here for you. You're going to know this one. My name is Anugo Montoya. I'm sorry? <laughs> my name is Anugo Montoya. She I'm looking for the six finger chance band. Of knowing this. You killed my father. Now prepare to die. Prepare to die. My name is Anugo Montoya. <laughs> How many lifelines do I get? I'm looking for the six finger I need a hint. Uh, Princess Bride is the movie. Because she has to guess the actor Princess or actress, Bride. right? She, By the way, is it the movie uh, or the actor or actress? Did you ever watch the. Um, movie? What was oh, the great okay. show? Oh my hit. God. The the, movie. Uh, Princess Bride. Princess Bride. Homeland. Thank you, Dave. The guy who said it was in Homeland. Oh, no, I've never seen it. How do you say it, Dave? Mandy, uh... Mandy Patinkin. Pati- thank you, yeah. thank you. Yeah. All right. <laughs> God, oh, you'll know this one. One of the famous... Fam- <laughs> God. Going streaky. I don't have a, don't have a oh, voice with this, but uh, I'm going to make him an offer he can't refuse. A what? I'm going to make him an offer he can't refuse. <laughs> I'm going to make him an offer he can't refuse. <laughs> <laughs> Terrible impersonation, but I'm doing my best out here. It kind of sounds like he's talking yeah. with marbles in his mouth. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I'm going to make him an offer he he's... can't refuse. Most famous movie of all time. There's yeah. three of them. Jason probably watches the first two at least once a month. Can I have a, a first initial? Uh, it's the and then G. G. Godfather. Yeah, there yes. You go. there you go. Nice. Oh, you got to know this one. <laughs> I'll be back. <laughs> Star Wars. Holy crap. <laughs> You kidding me? What? No! <laughs> Keter's upset. Sorry, sorry. That was that was a real reaction. I'm sorry. Uh, you, I apologize. Mission failure. <laughs> Mission Star accomplished. What? what? Mission <laughs> impossible. I mean. <laughs> Mission I'll be impossible. Back. Think governor of California. I'll be back. Think weightlifting. Oh, Arnold Schwarzenegger. Yes. yes. In the. I only know the movie. What the Christmas movie. 
It's not a Christmas nope, movie. It's called the Christmas Terminator. Year, called Terminator. <laughs> I was going to say it's Terminator. Not twins. <laughs> The Terminator. Oh, wow. Let's see if we can get one more in there. <laughs> Star Wars. It sounded like Chewbacca. <laughs> you can't handle the truth. You want me on that wall. You need me on that wall. You can't handle the truth. How do you guys know okay, this? Okay. First H initial. Hint. Because deep down in places you don't want to talk about at your parties. A? Tom Cruise. Think about Tom Cruise's in this movie. I've never Who, seen you, Lieutenant Weinberg? <laughs> <laughs> the only lieutenant I know is Lieutenant Dan. Uh, oh, grab a weapon that's, that's and stand good. a post. That's good. A Aerosmith? <laughs> Air, no. <What>? Oh. <laughs> a? <laughs> Most famous Laker fan good of hit. all time sits good right hit. next to the other bench, uh, other coach. To the uh, Jack. opponent. Jack. Yeah. He, okay. he says it in. He was running around in it. A few Second letter. A few good men. A few good men. <laughs> I, God. You guys, okay, this is so easiest, hard. I'm giving you the easiest one. These are all 70s and 80s. These are tough. Houston. Set me up for failure. Wow. Houston. We, we have a problem. problem. You know. Still don't know the freaking movie, though. <laughs> but I've heard the line. Uh, initial. Give me a little, first initial. <laughs> a, again? I didn't mean Aerosmith. I meant Armageddon. A Paul. A pot, a Apostles a Creed. <laughs> Apollo, <laughs> Apollo 13. <laughs> You guys, you have to give me multiple choice. <laughs> Think, uh, did you ever watch the Rocky movies? No. Okay. No, you got it. You um, said it. You I said, said it. You said Apostles it. Creed. No. You or, I mean, uh, uh, Apollo 13. Uh, Apollo 13. Apollo 13. Nice. Yeah. There you go. Duh. What's Last Apostles one. Creed? This has been a re resounding no. success. <laughs> I knew I've heard it before. <laughs> My mom always said life, life is like a forest Yes. Oh, yes. <laughs> Good job, Alan. Can we give our Bend listeners some context? Note. I've watched five movies in my life. <laughs> and you go to and the we, 70s. I love that we went to the old school ones. Great job. That's huge. Great job, B-more. So what? We're going to do this every week? Oh, no. Allie is going to start. You betcha. Allie's going to start calling in sick for the podcast. <laughs> this might turn into something, though. You're Andrew welcome. Miller did this one? Good <laughs> job, Andrew. That's me. That's embarrassing. Love you. Time for the game. Oh, Geter has to run. <laughs> Geter has made fun of me enough. He's got to go. <laughs> Thanks to you all for listening to the Lake Show podcast presented by Jack the Box. If you like what you hear, leave us a rating and review on your favorite podcast app. We want to hear from you. Send us your questions. Hit us up on X at Relay Clifton at Geter3 and at Mike underscore Bresnan. Until next week. Apostles Creed. Uh, I'm not familiar with that one. Xbox. Apparently. Xbox. Okay. Got it. What was the other one? Armageddon. Dude, Aerosmith. Armageddon. <laughs> that was the most amazing.